Okay, and welcome back. National Children's Dental Health Month. Today is Tooth Fairy Day, and we want to make sure that you are aware of dental health issues that could affect your kids. So Ashley Kirkland is at Wilkinson Dental in Marquette telling us a little bit more about it. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. It is National Tooth Fairy Day, and February is also Kids Dental Health Month. Now, I haven't been visited by the Tooth Fairy in quite some time now, but I'm at Wilkinson Dental in Marquette, and Dr. Wilkinson is going to check in with me and see how my dental health is doing. He's also, as you can see right now, he's pretty busy back there. Uh, he already checked out my teeth, and we're going to show you guys a little bit later. He's also going to tell us about how to care for your children's teeth and what age should you start thinking about their dental health as well as how poor dental health can actually lead to uh, poor heart health and how that affects the entire body. So it's really not just about the mouth, it's about the entire body and just being overall healthy. So it'll be a great look for viewers to kind of see how they can keep up on their dental health. And I found a, some teeth here. Uh, someone must have lost their denture, so I'm going to see what I can do with these and maybe someone will call in and say, hey, that's my teeth. <laughs> I'll take it back to you, Vicki. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. All right. Thanks, Ashley. And welcome back at 608, 508 Central Time. Going to the dentist can be frightening for adults. For kids, well, sometimes it can be a no-deal type of thing. So this morning, Ashley Kirkland is live at a local dentist office in, Mar in Marquette with a little bit more about kids' dental health. Ashley? Good morning, Vicki. Uh, it can be a frightening experience, but we want to make sure to let everybody know today that it doesn't have to be. And right now we're at Wilkinson Dental in Marquette and we're joined with Dr. Wilkinson himself. And this is actually a pretty cozy office. He doesn't even wear a white coat because he doesn't want to frighten people. See, he looks really likable. <laughs> Good morning, Vicki. Good morning, Vicki. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Wilkinson, for being here. Now, we're talking about kids' dental health today. What age should people start working? Worrying about their kids dental health or even get their first dental appointment well that's a great question and we're happy to highlight children's dental health month and usually what you uh, what we recommend is for parents of uh, newborns at about a year of an age a year old take their child into a dentist or a pediatric specialist we're very lucky here in Marquette we have a wonderful pediatric dentist dr. Tyler um, and usually at about a year of age it's good to go in and the dentist he or she will counsel the parents on good nutrition uh, and what's to follow and, and just to kind of take a quick scan of the mouth. G then generally around three years of age, um, children will usually sit and watch mom and dad go through the motions of having a cleaning. And if you love having a cleaning, make it known to your child. If you don't like having a, your teeth clean, still make it look like you like it because your child is watching. And the, the, the boy or the girl will then want to mimic mom and dad and say, hey, listen, I could do that now. I'm a big boy or I'm a big girl and let me do that. So that's usually a pretty good age. Yeah. And so it's all about habits. And what about those parents that say, you know, my kids are still young. They're going to lose their teeth anyway, so we won't worry about cavities just yet. Yeah, you know, I, it, it's, it, most of the time I would caution parents to follow that because, it, you know, one of the things that you worry about are dental abscesses, infections that can happen with teeth that have deep cavities. And, you know, there are times if a child's going to lose a tooth within a month or two or three and there's a small cavity on it, we'll just let it go because we know the tooth is going to fall out. But if a cavity gets deep into the nerve area, then it's a different story. You don't want to let that go because the potential for, for a significant infection is pretty good. Yeah. So talk to us about how those infections and different poor dental health choices can actually affect other parts of your body. Yeah, I'd be happy to. What, uh, what I would tell, at, at being Children's Dental Health Month, as, a, as parents, I think one of the most, the best things you can do for your child is set a pattern so that they can see coming into the dental office every couple times a year, whether it's every six months, every four months, whatever you decide you want to do, set that as a pattern because a lot of literature out there nowadays is showing that poor dental health as you get older can lead to other systemic problems diabetes cardiac problems heart issues and and so i think that's important to set that get that developmental thing going get a child used to going and then hopefully that'll translate later in life to that same pattern of behavior yeah. it's all about prevention yeah. so what are the leading causes of cavities well, you know, I think the leading causes obviously are sugar and acid uh, and, you know, exposure, chronic exposure to those, and then not taking the time to clean uh, the plaque and 
bacteria off your teeth after eating. And so high exposure to sugar foods, to acidy drinks, uh, soda, uh, for instance, um, and even fruit drinks, high exposure, chronic exposure to, uh, to pretty good qual quantities of that can, can lead to cavities. And so we know there are foods that are healthy for your body and kind of get you in shape. What are some foods that people can focus on that really kind of help get their teeth in shape? Yeah, no, I think that's great. Um, generally speaking, foods that are healthy for your body are going to be pretty healthy for your teeth. You know, uh, you know, milk comes to mind. Milk's got great calcium, you know, a lot of calcium, good for your teeth. Um, water, certainly, if you can get your child accustomed to drinking water, believe it or not, water is so good for the body and uh, it bathes the teeth, cleans them off, swish that around all you want, you won't have any problems. So generally speaking, teeth, foods and drinks that are healthy for your body are going to be healthy for your teeth. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dr. Wilkinson, and I know you're going to fire up that drill, that sound that we all love to hear next. <laughs> those, those, those drills have gotten a lot quieter over the years since I first started doing this. So, yes, yeah, we're, we're going to take a look in your mouth, and we're going to make sure everything's looking good, and, and we'll go from there. All right. Well, thank you so much. And you heard that, Vicki. He's going to take a look at my mouth, and hopefully it's in tip-top shape before the rest of uh, the <laughs> UP sees it. So we'll take it back to you for now. Ashley Kirkland reporting Welcome live. back. Well, cavities and growing adult teeth can be hard on a child's dental health, but with the right care, they can have a healthy smile. That's why we've sent Ashley Kirkland to Wilkinson Dental this morning to learn more about dental health. How's it going, Ashley? Good morning, Sam. First, I was out in the cold. Now I'm at the dentist. What did I do to deserve this? I don't know. No, <laughs> we're not scared. Dental health is a great thing to keep up with, and we're at Wilkinson Dental in Marquette, and Dr. Wilkinson is actually going to look inside of my mouth to see what it is that um, I have going on there. So, Dr. Wilkinson, when people come in and when kids come in, what's the first thing you look for in their, in their mouth? Well, after we go through and do a health check and do talk, talk about the health systems and make sure they're there are no health issues that we need to be worried about. What we do is we'll tip you back and we look in there and we scan. We've got a, an intraoral camera here, which okay. we use. Um, and the intraoral camera will help us see things, uh, look for cavities, look for lesions in the gum tissue, uh, look for gum problems and, and so forth. So. Okay. so we're gonna take a look in my mouth and you'll tell people what they're seeing as we go along. I'd be happy to, yeah. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we come in here and we'll uh, We'll put your teeth up on the screen here, and you can see with this camera, it gives us a pretty clear view uh, of what we can see in your mouth, and you've got very nice teeth, I might say. And we're looking around, we scan around, and we can check the surfaces of the teeth. And usually what we do, we'll follow this up by taking our probe and going around and checking the, the pits and the fissures. And there is one little dark spot on your back molar that I would want to follow up with with an explorer, uh, with the probe that we look at. We check for softness of the enamel. If it's soft or sticky back there, we might want to go in and clean that out, put a little bonded filling in there to make sure that the cavity doesn't progress to something worse. If we pr go down to the lower teeth, uh, we look at, and you've got some, you know, there's some normal staining we see on some of the pits and fissures of the teeth. Coffee, red wine, uh, normal everyday uh, wear and tear on teeth will cause staining. Um, we do worry about when that staining gets deeper into the pit and gets sticky, that's when we want to take a look at it and probably check that little spot there too. But you have very nice teeth overall. And as I mentioned earlier, one of the things we can do is we can check gum tissue. And we can come up here, make sure there are no lesions on the, uh, or anything that's out of, uh, out of the ordinary in your, in your gum tissue. And this is just a nice aid uh, to help us out visually. We'll look also, but we can check tongue. And we can check if you lift your tongue up to the roof of your mouth for me. We can check up underneath the tongue. We can check to make sure everything is looking good. and you. You're spotless, look great. So there's nothing showing up there. I would want to follow up on those little dark spots. Um, so if you've got a minute, we'll do that right now. All right. Now, when we're talking about those dark spots in the stains, how many times a day do you recommend brushing? Well, I, I definitely morning and evening. Um, and what I tell, especially kids, is that if you go out and you're at a party or you're going to a birthday party or something, you eat some cake, eat some candy, you drink some soda, brush after you do that. Uh, get that sticky, sugary stuff off of your teeth right away, but at the very minimum twice a day. And, uh, and then any other time that you expose your teeth to, to, to sugary foods, then certainly feel free to go at it and brush them off. Okay. Now what about flossing, especially with kids? Super important, super important. The flossing, I joke to a lot of people here that I, I, I think 
a lot of, and I don't want you to lose your toothbrush, but I think if you floss, the floss is so important to get in between the teeth, your tongue and swishing water around can a lot of times clean the surfaces of the teeth off. The floss, stuff that gets jammed down between the teeth, you can't get it with a toothbrush. So flossing is super important, uh, and I can't stress it enough. Okay. All right, so we're going to take a look at those spots that we'll you take saw. A look at those little spots, yeah. Let's just make sure there's nothing that needs to be fixed. And I'm fairly confident that things are going to be fine, but you have beautiful teeth. You take good care of them because we've talked about it. You do all the right things. You go in for routine checkups, and uh, I'm sure everything's fine, and everything looks wonderful. Yeah, that's just a little surface stain. Nothing that needs to be fixed. So, all right. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Wilkinson, for all of your help. And I just want to let kids know that that was so painless. So you don't have to worry about going to the dentist. And Dr. Wilkinson's office is located right in Marquette, off of Highway 41 near Target. So, uh, Sean, Vicky, and Sam will be back with things that you need to know after the break.